Hey guys, so uh, a couple more weeks ago, I totally screwed up my longer 30s screen. Um, I wasn't, um, I was kind of in a too much of a hurry and wasn't thinking super late at night. And after I'd had a, a failed print on my resin printer, I just cleaned it out manually and I didn't empty it out and strain it. And then little pieces of hard uh, resin got into, or, or was still left inside the vat, and then when the, the bed comes down, it smashes into it and caused a bunch of dead spots. My next prints obviously had holes all the way through them, and this is what happens. I'm going to turn this over. Um, before you do this, make sure uh, you buy some UV protective uh, lenses. These ones are great because they go over my glasses. Um, this will help filter out all the harmful uh, LEDs. So you're going to go down here to your settings, and you're going to turn on your LED light. And now as you can see here, got the big black spots. Um, I thought I was going to have to replace my screen, but I saw a great little post um, by uh, a fellow, I think he's out of Belgium, um, that said that you can take a Q-tip and press down on these little spots. We'll start with just one. And it's going to separate because basically you've got two screens in there. You've got a top one and a bottom one and inside there's a liquid crystal fill and if you press down on it and just kind of rub around a little bit um, that uh, the two screens will separate again and you'll start having that spot go away And it just takes a little while and those liquid crystals inside will start pushing back in to that space and you won't have that dead spot where the two screens are split together. So I don't know if you can see that, that spot's getting way smaller. So one thing I did on the first one which took me, because I did it to two different machines same time um, I started zigging back and forth and that just caused that black uh, spotness to go every which direction so you just press it into that one little spot and I'm just kind of going around in a small little circle and it goes down and then I let my machine sit there because I got had work uh, for about a week and I came back this morning and the other one is completely spot free. So I'm just going to do this to each one. Press down firmly. And just wiggle it around a little bit with this Q-tip. And back up and off and it starts to go away right now it looks like it's migrating a little bit because it might probably be pushing it a little too much but basically you're just getting those two layers to separate and allow the liquid crystals to flow back in between them and that works So just experiment with that and then pretty soon all those little spots will just go away. And you'll save yourself from having to buy a whole new screen. This should take, might take a couple hours, but it's better than 60 bucks and waiting for a month for a new screen to come in. If you can even find one. So anyway, wanted to share that. Bye.